Hey there, Wootsuit family, it's Ryan. I've completed a few projects since working from home, so the next three videos are footage that I took while working on some DIY repairs. Today is from when I decided to swap out the light switch in the washroom. We have a bit of a habit of leaving the light on, so I changed out the standard flick switch for a light sensor and set it so that you manually turn the light on, and if it doesn't detect movement for five minutes, it shuts the light off. This was my first ever attempt at swapping out a switch. I actually have no electrical experience, so after studying some tutorials online, I set to work. After turning the power off and confirming it was safe, I removed the original switch and studied how the wires were connected. While I was a little intimidated at first, I took my time and used the original switch to help me understand how the box was wired. I would remove one wire at a time and connect the new wires immediately so I didn't lose track of what was supposed to go and where. The box controls two devices. The lights in the washroom are on the one switch, and on the other switch is the vent fan. This meant that I had to pigtail the hot wires together in order to provide power to the two units. Similarly, I braided the ground wires together. Now this footage is sped up and edited. All in all, I would say it took me a little over an hour to complete the job, with a few instances where I had to backtrack on something that I did to fix an issue. Programming also took some time to get right, especially because I had to wait 5 minutes each time to check that the timer settings were configured correctly. I have to say though, that turning the power on was a little nerve wracking for me. I half expected to immediately set my house on fire, but it's been a few months since I swapped out the switches and everything seems to be fine. It was a good first step project. Sure, I made some mistakes and the faceplate isn't flush to the wall like it used to be, but I felt a sense of pride in doing it myself. Plus, it gave me the confidence to tackle the ceiling fan in the bedroom, which you'll see next time. Feel free to let me know in the comments below what mistakes you see that I made, or to share with me your experiences in home repair. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you are keeping safe. And don't forget, stay awesome.